Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Brian Whelan. And HP recently introduced facilities as a service. Now we've seen software as a service, we've seen platform as a service. What is facility as a service? Uh, thanks, Jake. Well, it's uh, it's a new service that we we just launched last month that we're really excited about. And um, you know, if you think about how IT is evolving, and you you hear about all the new style of IT all of the time. Um, that's having tremendous impact on server storage networking and delivery methodologies for how all of that is deployed. Um, so facility as a service sort of takes um, that sort of same scalability, flexibility, agility associated with the new style of IT and applies that to the environment, the facility, the data center facility that actually houses all of those IT assets. So, so in a nutshell, if you think about the customer's perspective, you know, typically a customer if they decide not to outsource um, their IT operations to somebody like an HP Enterprise Services, um, they then have a couple of choice points. They will either um, decide to build their own facility, which comes with a lot of gives them a lot of control, a lot of advantages, obviously, but is very capital intensive. You know, data center facilities are, are uh, you know, nominally for a one megawatt facility can be upwards of of twenty million dollars. So very expensive facilities, or they could choose to go the co-location model. So it's an OPEX model, obviously, but they give up certain areas of, of levels of control and so forth. So historically, they've been the two sort of choice points that customers have. So what are some of the key advantages of this facilities as a service model? Well, from the customer standpoint, they get the facility that they specifically want. So it's specifically tailored and engineered for their business needs. Um, they get to operate that facility in an operating expense uh, model so that helps align their their capital out or their outlays their costs with their revenue streams so that's very much a trend that we're seeing customers wanting to do we want to make sure that there's alignment there with the uh, their costs and their revenue streams because typically you know data center facilities they've got a 10 or 15 or 20 year lifespan and it's very difficult to uh, to to get that to align with your your revenue streams where you're looking at a sort of one two three year stream where you want to start to, to, to get some payback there. So, so one of the key advantages is you know, it aligns their, their costs with their revenue streams. Another one is you know, upfront, you know, rather than outlaying you know, 10 or 20 or 30 million dollars of capital in year one, um, they're outlaying a much smaller portion of that, maybe 10% of that. The other 90% they can then deploy in other areas of their business, either to innovate, to pay back shareholders, you know, whatever makes sense for that particular customer, you know, that's one of the big advantages of facility as a service. It frees up capital for them to innovate rather than you know, operate you know, a, a fixed asset facility. So what kind of planning goes into this from, from your team's perspective? Like, how, how involved in the process are you? I mean, is this like soup to nuts, absolutely everything about the facility? From a planning and strategy perspective, frankly, it's, it's business as usual for us. You know, we've designed over 50 uh, million square feet of data center space all over the world. So all of that planning that we do up front with the customer, looking at their IT strategy, relating that to a facility strategy, is business as usual, and it's what we do in a facility as a service model, to make sure that we get the right facility, the right design, the right modularity to meet that, that particular business need. So from a, from a design process methodology, um, it really is you know, something that we do all the time, and that piece doesn't really change um, with facility as a service. It's much more the piece that changes is how that facility is deployed, how the customer is, is leveraging that capital and converting it to an OpEx model. Now, presumably, HP doesn't want to end up owning a whole bunch of facilities all over the world, or, or maybe they do, I, I might be making a guess there, but is there a, a point at which this kind of converges and the, the customer, it, it makes sense for them to kind of buy out the contract? Yeah, so typically, you're right, we don't want to own uh, a, a bunch of facilities all over the world. So the way uh, the, the contracts typically work, you know, at the end of, the, of a five-year agreement period, the customer is going to have multiple choices. They can either renew the contract, which is always a uh, first choice, or they can take over the asset in full. Because when you look at the, the graphs, you know, at, at some point, depending on the size of the facility or location, the cost to operate in a facility as a service model starts to become greater than the cost to, to build and own the asset yourself. So typically the customer will either take over the asset at that particular point or renew the, the agreement for you know, an additional you know, two, three or, or five year period. Well, excellent. This is an interesting new paradigm in the way data centers are built, and it seems to follow along with the model of, of software and platform and, and even uh, infrastructure as a service. And, and so to see that it's kind of facility all the way down uh, is, is a big change. 
Absolutely, and you, you, you know you see it in, in every facet of, of IT, from hardware, server storage, networking, the delivery methodology, and so forth. There's been a tremendous tectonic shift, as as we often hear, in this space, and and all of that, like I said at the beginning, really has a has a direct impact on the environment, the facility that houses all of that, and I think facility as a service is a is a is a is a, is a direct you know approach to to helping customers you know deploy their their assets in a fashion that allows them to to grow their business, to expand, to innovate, and not tie up capital for you know extended periods of time so I think it very much is aligned with the overall you know uh, changes in IT and the, the, the new style of IT excellent well thanks Brian okay thank you very much